Tonight, from Lumen Field in Seattle, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Seattle Seahawks taking on the New England Patriots. With the beautiful Puget Sound just to our west, you get a look inside Lumen Field here in Seattle, Washington. Coming up is a rematch of that memorable Super Bowl 49 between the New England Patriots and the Seattle Seahawks. in store here. The Pats and Seahawks are underway. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. And they're let out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Gino Smith. That's the right back. I can't do that. That's the third team. He was drafted West Virginia. He was getting a little back-to-back. Yard seasons for the Mountaineers. Hadn't seen as much game time in recent years, but at one point, a capable starter in the NFL. And Smith is going to the hand to fan. Establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. Everyone's getting amped up as they go forward. He'll get this to DJ Dallas. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. for it. It's Walker. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. 21 yards for Kenneth Walker. 
And the Seahawks' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Myers connects on the PAT. And that makes the score 7-0. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it was Kenneth Walker finishing things off with a touchdown run. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Now Jones. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. The first carry here for Ty Montgomery. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their step. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. From the gun, it's a give to Montgomery. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. Nine yards is the pick up there. They'll have a second and one. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling, usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Jones got a man open that's Devontae Parker complete and he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30 we gotta like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive a nice sustained series to begin the game and it will continue after picking up another first there would you say the word methodical comes to mind I love the execution I love what they're doing on this drive they're controlling the ball controlling the game controlling the clock Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon has been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. Second and six from the 10. Back to throw. Jones. Parker's got it for a Patriots touchdown. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Patriots respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. I do believe we came here to see a game, didn't we? And it looks like he's running what we call routes versus air. You just go out there with your offensive unit and throw the football with no defense. He's five for five on the opening drive. He was on his game there for drive number one, but my only thing is now he can't go any higher than that. He was so perfect. Can he do it again later? Yeah, all he cares about right now is making it 10 for 10, 15 for 15, <laughs> Keeping that going. and he feels like he can get it done. Extra point up and good by Folk, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really important 
impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's a one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. They'll try for the first with Walker. And this will be a Seahawks first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like the runners giving us tip. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49. A gain of just two. The Patriots going with a dime package here. Two extra defensive backs on third. down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Gino on first down. The rocket with a grab over the middle. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Working with a second and three. On second down, it's Walker. And he'll go down. down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down, Smith. Behind him into his left. He's got it. And he'll be taken down by the guys at first down yardage. Here's Second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So that drive 12 plays in length. And it was Ken Walker finishing things off with a touchdown run. No run back here for Jones. A touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now. So they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive the less than the double digit snaps you need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive but put the onus back on your opponent and that's what they're doing right now swapping that onus back and forth 14 yards is the pickup there and a new england first down off 
Play action. Jones. It's Kelsey on the ground. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking of myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You talk about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. A give to the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. So first and ten now from the 30. Off the play fake, Jones. And this is caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped it to one. He got 29 yards that time. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Now this is Kelsey, a tight end carry. And he keeps fighting his way into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Travis Kelsey taking it in from a yard out. And the Pats are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. All drives that result in points hurt a defense, but when they are the sustained variety, play after play, and they just can't get off the field and stop them, that can be demoralizing. They'll try and run it here. And he'll get into the end zone as a two-point conversion is successful. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shoot. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter a nice little jab to get things going in their direction? It's a gain of 15. First down, Seahawks. Smith. And that would get me off target and incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. To throw on second and ten. Smith. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Kyle Duggar credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both of these offenses having their way so far. So maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. And a fair catch signaled for and taken. 
taken just outside the 20 yard line. It'll be a 39 yard punt, no return, and the Patriots take over. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 22. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And not much doing there, maybe a yard up to the 23. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed. First down. Well, I liked it. Just take the snap, burrow forward, pick up the few inches you need for a first down. And defensively, I don't think they were expecting that. They looked a little surprised in the middle. Yeah, a little bit wary there, weren't they? Because that can be a throwaway down where maybe you go play action, fake it, and try and get something big. But instead, he said, forget it. Let's just get a first down and start a new set. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed. First down. Now this time he'll look to throw. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, well, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. And he'll take this one down to the 36. The last three plays have resulted in gains of one, two, and now three yards here. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Looking to throw. Jones. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. Jones throwing on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Now Gino. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Goodwin. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, here's Walker. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Smith on first down. He's got his big tight end fan. And they're able to work 
distance across midfield for the 48. Nice, nice rhythm throw there on first down. Located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yard. receivers in certain situations but a guy of his size can't really hide him but the tight end drag route definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down second and five throwing now is Gino That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. From the gun on third down, Smith. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good, and that'll keep this a one-point game. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. Bearing this one out for Evans. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. But one thing's for sure, when you've got a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you're going to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defense. on third down tonight. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 14. He'll rifle this one deep right side. He rifles one that's intercepted. And the Seahawks are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach on the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. On second down, a run to Dallas. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And they have the football. It will set up shop at the 33-yard line. So he went out of the pocket left, and then things got dicey. And what often happens is when they get outside, they want to keep their eyes downfield in order to try and complete a pass. But when they try to make a play, they've got to get their footwork involved, and that can really mess them up as well. And in this case, nothing went right, and the ball got knocked free. And he'll get this to the 22. So they began the play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11. First down. 62 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Jones now throwing on first down. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves to six, sets up the first and goal. Now the 
Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Here's a sneak with Jones. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Jones keeping it on the sneak. And he's going to be hemmed in, brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can. But this is third and goal. Travis Kelsey has the first half is winding down. And the Patriots would extend their lead here just before. And that lead is now seven with a chance to go to eight or more if they want to get crazy here, which we don't expect. But I just know the way the game's being played with the analytics. There's going to be a lot more going for two in a lot of situations, isn't there? Yeah, there's going to be. And I think their focus here, they don't want to give up anything going into the lockers on the other end. Just a little bit of time left on the clock. Yeah, they don't want to do anything to erase the good feeling they have right now by getting this late score in the half. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. On the return from his end zone, Godwin Igwebuke. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point game. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports halftime report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. On second down, Montgomery. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he slips up past the Four big tackle. 93 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just this series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just have to find a way to tackle someone. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Going up the gun, Montgomery. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. Nine yards, not quite enough. And he'll be left now with third and one. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Jones will sneak it. And he will push forward and pick up the first down. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. It's been a good drive so far. They just wanted to keep it going, so they call low risk, low reward play. No one's worried about picking up big yardage here. Quarterback sneak, keep the chains moving, and pick up another first down. And this is caught. It's Parker. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. 
whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. And that's good for a gain of six, and that will bring up second down. And that's why defensive coaches preach swarming to the football. It's usually going to take more than one guy to get that big man down. And it did right there. Multiple broken tackles, but they eventually get him down. Ball on the eight. It's second and four. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. touchdown run and the Patriots take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead that seemed pretty ideal there for the offense Charles you take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter decent length drive and you pad your lead as well at the end of it and what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two touchdown lead right because you've taken that time off as you noted which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side, so now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a free possession game. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll kick it away for the second time. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Off play action, Jones. Open man, the tight end, Henry. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 113 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 right at the 40. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. An excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. That goes 
is a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. He continues to have a big night here under the lights carrying the football. And some guys prefer night games. For whatever reason, their bodies react a certain way. They love the spotlight. Maybe that's what it is. The best seats in the house, the ones where he's carrying the football for his touchdown. have moved out in front by three touchdowns. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock too with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Iguabuque to return it from his end zone here. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition... And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And the Patriots are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. to throw Jones thrown to Parker complete on the slant and he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion this offensive game plan has just been sensational I mean when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far it's really been impressive scheme design execution and he'll get it down here to the 43 there to make the tackle after the pickup of five here second and five off the play fake Jones all in all no gain on the play and it'll bring up third on third down they go Montgomery on springs free Montgomery loses it and the Seahawks well, number one, and now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down the first So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. the drive alive seven yards that time and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive because we see that type of a run i get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired and that's the last thing they need especially when they look up at the scoreboard and that's incomplete he couldn't hold on through the contact brings up second down look like both sides were anticipating a quick throw Him has 
to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Now Jones to throw on third down. Throw left side complete. That's Montgomery. And that will wind up moving the chains again as the tackle is going to be made at the Seahawks 19. That will be a New England first down, a gain of 12. A give to Montgomery out of the gun. A Jordan Brooks on the tackle. Another good run for him. What else is new? That will put him right at 150 yards for the game. So he's really made his presence felt in this one. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Operating from the gun, Jones. And that was almost intercepted. But it's incomplete. He had space in front of him if he had held on. But instead, it's third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against the third and six. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 157 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. And they're not going to get to the line and run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. Now he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Touchdown of the night. And the Patriots up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. So this, not a stat line that you'd expect to see. Two touchdowns for him now in the ball game, both coming on the ground. And while it may be unusual, it's obvious they found something that they like on offense and they can use against the defense. And I think they'll continue to go to it until they stop them. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. This offense returning out there, and really, you remember the last drive, Charles, it was over before it even began. They threw the interception on the very first play. And what that means is for all these guys, it's been a while since they've been out there going full speed. So they've got to get everyone back out there, run a couple of your go-to plays. Make sure you get your offense oiled up a little bit. They've got to be able to start fast, but they've got to be efficient as well. Especially the quarterback. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. So the completion good for just three, and it'll be second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. The Seahawks on third down. Not quite 50%, four for nine. They're up against a third and one situation. To the air again, Smith. He'll buy and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Kyle Duggar bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. Well, partner, you and I will be headed to the airport, but after this game, when it's interview time, someone's going to ask his quarterback what hurt worse, the interceptions or the sacks. This whole day, it's been rough. Barring a miraculous comeback, this offense isn't going to win this game, but he's probably going to say what hurt most is the loss. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as that'll be a game of 15 on fourth. Smith. Flush to his right. He completes this to Walker. 
And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. I think you would agree, just a good decision right there. Goes for the safe play, gets some yardage out of it. And showed some toughness as well. As you noted, he stayed right in there. Saw the rush was coming, hung in there, took the hit, dumped it out to the outside, and now they pick up some yardage, and you have a back this great. Oh, well, into a sea of defenders have intercepted. Michigan man, Jabril Peppers, and the Pats will take over here at their own 14-yard line. But here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, okay, take your best shot, and that time, it's intercepted. And we've often seen teams go into the prevent early, way too early, and sometimes they get too soft in their coverages, but not in this case. They understood the situation and played it with the proper aggression. And a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. On the tackle that time, Shelby Harris. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It's crazy. But they practice. From the 16, Jones. He completes it to Henry. play zone defense so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught and you don't give up much run after the catch. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. The Patriots send out their punter. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. Chased out left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. They'll run on first down with Dallas. in this second half. Here's first and ten. A shotgun snap for Smith. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawks touchdown. Marquise Goodwin an 11-yard touchdown. And the Seahawks get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. The extra point now coming from Myers. And that'll cut the lead down to 22. Five plays, 
was there on that drive. And it all culminates with a Seattle score. Taken in at the three. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25 yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. But the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football. You're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. Again, this is Montgomery. And dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Looking to throw, Jones. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Meanwhile, Jones throw taken in by Bourne. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 29-yard line. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 16 yards, a little deja vu from the previous play where they got 16. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front. Say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And this is incomplete. Six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Back to throw. Jones. That's Bourne. Got it on the slant. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and short to give to the tight end. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Travis Kelsey, a three-yard touchdown run. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. to return this one so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback coming to the line here to begin their next drive the Seahawks offense well this game it has had no shortage of offense they've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side Charles they just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense going against here yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because as you said 
they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Throw over the middle, take it in. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. On first down, it's Smith. It's caught. Lock it. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Looking to throw again on second down. Smith. That's caught over the middle by Fan. And he'll be brought down. Second down, Smith, and for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones, and the Patriots are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close the defenders on the drive's first play. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. That one looks like he'll throw here. Airing this one out for Evans. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Tariq Woolen picks it. And the Seahawks are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. One last throw here. Smith. He's going to let it fly. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. scoring game Charles than we typically see in the National Football League but fun to watch these offenses they were really clicking it seemed like everything that they dialed up worked yeah it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective how'd you like to be those defensive coaches though that wasn't a blast for them at all and let's face it they all game plan they all scout they all think they're prepared but executing and stopping teams that's another matter entirely So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say good night from Seattle.
tonight. From Seattle, Washington. In the special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. We are in the Pacific Northwest as we get set for football at Lumen Field here in the Soto District of Seattle. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Seattle Seahawks. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Seattle. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. Of course, he's got arm strength to make every throw in the book. He's an asset to have in any offense. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Play action. It's Smith. And his throw's going to be incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. Flushed out right. A hit as he throws there incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Fair catch single four and take it just shy of the 30-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it will be Eagles football first and 10. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them this season. with an electric senior season in Oklahoma. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. This is going to down. That's an example of what the defender does. It's that one close it quickly. And avoids the incompletion. So this is now second and ten. Securing the football. You can you get out in open field? Sometimes you get a little loose with it. They're trying to get up ahead of the in there. 
there on that one. Not, not much run after catch, but put it further away. Really well. They'll employ the jumbo set now on Jimmy Warren. Walker now on first and ten. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage. They did for a significant chunk of yardage. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 22-yard line. The first look here for D.J. Dallas. Javon Hargrave there on the stop. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to small up the ball carrier. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he will be brought down about the six-yard line. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 and a first down. Here's Walker. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Kenneth Walker, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks use the early turnover to get on the board first in this one. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was Kenneth Walker finishing things off with a touchdown run. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Oh, my goodness. I thought he'd peel off. Instead, he makes the fair catch at the two-yard line. The Eagles' offense set to begin their next drive. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and ten. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they get the touchdown. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. On first and ten, it's Hurts. He's got Dallas Goddard. His tight end over the middle. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Hurts a handoff to Sanders, and he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. 
On third and short, going with their tight end. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. They'll throw on first down with Hertz. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air. And defensively, they were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And they work this well up field across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Hurts his throw brought in by Brown. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he's going to take it down to about the 35 here. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. On the ground with a tight end. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Here's Hurts to throw. His throw caught right around the six. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Boy, this is a well-orchestrated drive they put together. You think back to how far they were backed up to start things out, but they've gone on a march since then. And now for that completion there, they've got a first. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Eagles go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. So all even at 7 now as they kick it away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive. They watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I have both know. One big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. And from the 15, they're able to work this up to the 20 for a pickup of a handful. Tall task ahead of them here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. 7-7, our score after one. On four 
down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36 yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers, but hand route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. But first down, it hurts. And it's a short one here, coming to the tight end. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And that's going to bring up second down. Here's a throw out line complete to his running back right side. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Well, I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield. Everyone trying to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield. And he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. Now here's a throw right side. Taken in by his tight end. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. communication maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to when you put the time in sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL they don't know how to make those adjustments on the scrimmage if they see something and they got it done there now they play it good with a PAT and that takes the score 14 to 7 now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they fall.
Metcalf. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Dallas helped the middle. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now Gino completes it to Fant on the right side. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 38-yard line. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. Now a Fant with a catch on the crossing route. To the right side, this is Walker. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. What a play there by Fletcher Cox to get in and knock him down behind the line. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him early but shut him down otherwise outside of that you're exactly right i would say they've contained him very well and he is not going to get to the marker as they stop him short at the 14. so the completion results there in nine yards and it'll be fourth down the eagles going to take the first of their timeouts they'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter They'll run for it. It's Walker. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. Give him credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. Back to Walker on first down. And he's across the chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Ken Walker with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Seahawks are an extra point away from drawing level. Myers connects on the PAT, and we are tied at 14. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. As this offense takes the field again, it's been a while since they've been out there. We just saw that long touchdown drive by the opposition. But remember, when this crew was out here last, Charles, they scored as well. And let's make sure we give both offensive staff some credit, and especially the offensive coordinators, because we spoke with both of them in the lead up to this game, and both were really confident in their game plans. They felt like they had scouted their opponents and focused on specific areas of practice this week to make sure that they were ready to go. And frankly, it looks like they both did an excellent job. And yeah, we'll see if those game plans can keep this streak of touchdowns going here. down he'll drop to throw it and he's got his big tight end here now whistles and a stoppage here looks like one of the eagles is in some discomfort out there so from seahawk territory now it's first and 10 at the 42 yard line he'll run with sanders up the middle and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here second down not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Second down, back to Sanders. And he gets it down to the 32. 50 yards right. 
establishing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Yeah, once more, strong running, excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. They'll look to throw now on first down. And this is caught by Watkins. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Good, strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They'll run it, Sanders. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles have moved out in front in the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game and i figure he's going to draw a little more attention to coverage moving forward elliot good on the extra point and the lead is now 21 14. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. And Smith's throw into the hands of Lockett. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Off of play action, here's Smith. Rolling to his right, going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. The Seahawks on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. Throwing now is Geno. He's got his tight end fan. And he is going to have the Seahawks first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half it'll go as a gain of six that time and it moves the chains as well so from the 36 now first and 10 now smith eagle pressure too much this time down he goes sacks a growing theme in this first half this is second and long under pressure they got him again javon hargrave able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening so that now four first half sacks this pass rush has been unrelenting and partner you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds that's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now we have to do something differently on third down here's walker He'll be taken down well before the first, about the 36 yard line. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. And here's Dixon to punt now as he gets this one away. This will be fielded at the 17. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now back to work for Miles Sanders in the Philly offense. He's toppled the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to 
play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them. And he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him. Something just to stop the momentum he has. And this is incomplete. Well played defensively. Nearly had the interception. But it's second down. On second and ten. Hurts. It's caught. Smith. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 38-yard line. And they're going to speed things up here. They'll look to throw again. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit. Had them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. It's a second down run with Sanders. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here, and it's our visitors, the Eagles, leading this one. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. Throwing from God, it's Hurts. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running space and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense and give him about four on the play but he's marked short so he'll be third and about the length of the football on oh, the sneak it's hurt and yeah, they will touch him down but not before he gets the first give him two on the play there and it'll be a philadelphia first down i don't know about you but i like this call third and inches and instead of worrying about getting it back to a running back and maybe there's some penetration from the defensive front just go ahead and take it move forward and pick up the first down and as we say often shows confidence in your offensive line so the completion good for six yards and that'll make it second down they'll run with sanders He'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. 75 yards on the ground now for Sanders. He's got a first down. They're going to look to throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield field at the 46 yard line
Now Sanders. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Most of the just dug through the air. I mean, they run the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. So here's a first and ten at the 38. They'll set up to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Hertz gets this to Sanders. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A well, lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Hurts fumbles it, and the Seahawks have picked it up. And he will bring this all the way up to the 30-yard line. CD, that's one of those plays you put a mark by. I mean, that could be a big momentum swing here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Yeah, we may have to revisit it, right? Because if that drive ends up in the end zone, they're sitting pretty at that point. Now instead, it's a two-score game. That's a chance to tighten up considerably. Smith on first down. That's complete to Penny Hart. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Straight ahead, Walker. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Sticking with Walker on second down. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Smith. Eluding. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. That's sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And last time, the fumble, the turnover. Now they still have the lead, but I don't think coaches care. The turnovers will bother them no matter what the scoreboard says. And that's the relief that you still have the lead, but coaches look at what if and what it should be. Turning the ball over when they get a chance to score more points and increase the lead, that's what's going to affect them. And they're also thinking the future weeks maybe when the game's closer, right? No doubt about it. You want to clean up everything. Let's just be honest about it. They want everything to be perfect at all times. They don't want to give up anything that's going to their team. Right back to Sanders on the first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Such a nice job there by the defense. Because if they can't get off the field, their job is to go ahead and get 
second and ten here. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it here. Why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Play action. Here's Hurts. Today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300 yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. A gain of seven that time, second goal. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. On sneak, it's hurt. Yeah, this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two yard. Keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. They hand off to their big tight end. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Grant Calcaterra taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third it's easy to say mission accomplished on that drive the goal was to increase the lead they did exactly that Elliot good with a PAT and that'll make this a three score game now the lead moves to 17 Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. On first down, they'll kick off the drive with Dallas. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. third quarter you are watching the nfl on ea sports second and six just inside the 30. second down it's walker and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38 yard line 51 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. The shotgun snap for Smith. Flush to his right. And he slides and covers up. He's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I like how he hung in there, went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it, and he ends up sliding down a solid game. They'll try the air now to Smith. Man open, it's Goodwin. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 39. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. You got the big lead defensively. 
willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. And the Seahawks on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. He's got his big tight end fan, and he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Out of the gun, Smith. He's going to get this underneath to Dallas. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. From the 24, Smith. They lock it with a grab over the middle. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Walker now at first and 10. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles when he can make a play himself as we touchdown Seahawks DJ Dallas a nine yard touchdown round and the Seahawks have got it back to a two score game here in the fourth extra point up and through by Myers and the lead is trimmed down to 10. That one in the books as a 12 play drive and the Seahawks capping it off with a touchdown. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback and they'll begin at the 25. This offense returns to the field, and the former Penn State star, Miles Sanders, we get a look at him. Responsible for well over 100 yards of total offense, but still hasn't found the end zone. Do you think that's in the back of his mind going into this drive? It's always in the back of the mind of a player who's having that type of a day because you want that gratification for your work, right? You want that stamp on top of everything. The bottom line for him, he's doing great work. Sometimes it just opens it up for other people to actually get into the end zone for him. The runners you know, would they rather have 60 yards, three touchdowns, or 150 no touchdowns? I think more than likely 150 and no touchdowns, but all the runners that I know would say, I'll take 150 and three touchdowns. They're greedy that way. Hurts throw complete there to Smith. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack. But you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think you continue to do so. Second down, back to Sanders. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way they execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 19. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And then corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 139 yards on the ground. 
for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Eagles are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. He has been fun to watch throwing the football this one. And it's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Elliott good on the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. That's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. Flushed out right. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. From the gun on third down, Smith. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Desperation time for Smith on fourth down. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Avante Maddox. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six. for it right there and that pick six will be the icing on the cake yeah you don't know how many more possessions you're going to get so really you're almost at the point of no option you have to go for it. bottom line though is defenders know that as well they know you've got to throw the football had the right defense call it will make a nice play on the ball and that's all she wrote so they throw the pick six they'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. A throw left side to start the drive is complete. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. To believe his first catch of the game defensively, they bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, and you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Gino out of throw. Complete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. To the air again, Smith. That's complete to his running back, Dallas. Five yards. Now it's third and five. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space. I think they expect to get more out of the play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackle. Held it to an okay game. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at 46. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Smith and in 
incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a scotch of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. And he has another first down, as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 20-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Now Gino on first down. And it's a quick slant to lock it. Seahawks get a bit closer. The Seahawks offense staying put out on the field. They're going to go for two. Geno's going to throw. Complete at the one. And he'll find his way in for two. And we're back to a two-score game. The lead's cut to 16. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Eagles dodge a bullet. They cover it up. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have kick they didn't get it well as we knew even before they put the the toe to the leather on that one their chances of getting that done slim and none and i do believe we saw slim just leave the door didn't we he did indeed i think we're down to none a good start to the drive here's that's caught out on the left side now the seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Running right, this is game well. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And he'll stay on the ground with Gainwell again. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third and short, going with their tight end. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him, so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And the stop will come inside. timeouts that'll leave them with two remaining we'll be back after this an ideal down and distance to try to finish this thing off second and inches straight ahead it's game well and he's in front eagles touchdown kenneth Gainwell taking it in from four yards out and the eagles tack on another score as they have dominated this fourth quarter but not much defensive resistance on that drive. And really, Charles, the way this offense has been humming, they haven't faced much defensive resistance the entire game. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that one team, their defense did not wake up and make it to the stadium for this one. There may be some major changes on that side of the ball when we see them the next time out. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. drive will start at the 25. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better. Yeah. 
as they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Here's Smith. That's caught over the middle by Fan. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Escaping the pressure right. This complete to lock it. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. On first and ten, Smith steps away to his left. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Now Gino. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him. And after this one's done, you just feel like in the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. One last throw here for Smith. One last shot at the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Looked like it might have been intercepted, but he's out of bounds. And a good thing, too, probably. That would have cost him yardage. Now they'll get the ball back on the turnover on downs. So fly, Eagles, fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And this one wasn't easy. You had an East Coast team, Charles, going west, playing a night game, but somehow they were able to get the job done. Yeah, when you talk about playing a night game, they're closer to being sleepy because of East Coast time with their bodies when you're kicking off to play the game. So that's a real big accomplishment for them to get that done. The flip side, too, is traveling home, in the old days, you had to wait to get the video for your next game. You had all those. So you were really a day behind. Now the video's on their computers as they get on the plane to head back so they can get a lot of work done on the plane while they celebrate. It's going to be a long red eye, but as you said, a celebratory red eye back home. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Seattle. Tonight, from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. and the New England Patriots taking on Matthew Stafford and the Los Angeles Rams. 
It is a chilly night here in the northeastern U.S., but we've got some football to keep us warm at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the Los Angeles Rams and the New England Patriots. Here's the former Utah Ute, Matt Gay, to get this one started. And we are underway in Foxborough. Take it in at the three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So here come the Patriots getting ready on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Every quarterback in the NFL has a little bit of his own signature style out there, but for this guy, he really plays the game in a different way. It's led to a couple double takes from us up here as we see him as something truly unique. It's not that he's just the strongest passer or the best athlete to ever play the And oh, right away, he lost the football. Jones. And caught by Henry. And they're able to work this midfield to the 48. And I feel a little bit like a traitor as a point defender because that big man did not want to go down and refuses to go down. If you're a defender and you don't get it right at you on a like him, he can make it right back to you. and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got my cover. Oh, he just snuck out there. They just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pick up on first down. On second down, Montgomery. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there but a new set of downs and with a new set of downs you got to take the mentality of the whole thing right now everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage the best defenses just say okay new set of downs gives us another chance to make the play ourselves and maybe change things up and he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18 yard line but yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect 4-4 four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well-drilled, well-prepared, and excited to start this game. On third down, they go Montgomery. It's a game to three, and it gets him to first. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, a new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here, because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. Nine yard 
defense, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. The impressive opening drive continues, and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. The 13th play now coming on this opening drive. Here's third down. Jones keeps it himself. Only a few inches needed on the sneak. He didn't get it, and now it's fourth down. Now that Patriots sideline not happy with what just transpired, and they're going to throw out the challenge flag. Is this a touchdown? That's the question, CD. What are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. So not successful there on the challenge. And he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. decision to go for it pays off with six points many would call that a gutsy decision here early on to go for it fourth and goal there was no hesitation field goal unit never sniffed the field it was a message and the message was i trust you on offense go out and make this happen go ahead and pick it up you know what else he said i trust my defense as well they don't get it i know you're gonna hold them so it's a message to your entire team that you believe in them Full connects on the extra point, and it's now a 7 nothing game. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told, and it's finished off by a pass touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Stafford. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. Touchdown, L.A. Allen Robinson, 75 yards. And the Rams are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And we are tied at seven. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. And he'll get about three up close to the 35. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Now this is Kelsey, a tight end carry. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Try the middle of the run, and he's going to take the 
says head for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call it the trash man. He's supposed to sift through traffic and make plays. This guy's candy. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike Lineback. And it's also going to be made at the 38. I know this made me jump to the gun a little bit, but seven to seven, they're playing it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just like some little field goal and maybe trying to get it back that way. The stop was Aaron Donald. Line of scrimmage gets 24. This is second and six. Looking to throw. Jones. It's Kelsey on the ground. And it worked this down inside the 30. Let's not crumble about the game here in a second. Yeah, that was off to the play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Back to throw. Stafford. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. No partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play. And he's going to be brought down. Back in his own six yard. Finish off the play. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. Here's Riley Dixon now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Thank you. 
That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop the jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. And even 50 receiving yards for him now in this first quarter alone, and also a first down. He's turning in a nice performance. Remember, he had the touchdown earlier, and this time he's able to beat double coverage to grab it. I think that if he weren't worried about a taunting penalty, he'd run by the opposing team's bench and say, guys, two's not going to be enough. You better get some more guys trying to cover me. He knows how to get open downfield. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. to Montgomery, and not much, maybe a yard down to the 23. That felt like a trap, because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Back to throw, Jones. to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. On for the extra point is Folk. It's good, and it is now 21-7. So that drive span five plays. And it was Keenan Allen who finished it all off with the touchdown reception. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And I would say they went three and out last time, but actually they didn't even get to three and out. Still a strange decision to us here in the booth. Yeah, let's hope they don't go one and out, but maybe, possibly, let's try and, try and think with them here. Try and play field position, maybe. Turn the ball over, put it in the hands of their defense. Who knows? You're a nice man. <laughs> throw on second down. Stafford. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Well, these guys have definitely been out in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they're having panicked out there. The way they're carrying themselves. They're going to start to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain the boys, and start to put together some drives. Looking for the ball there on first down.
I miss, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the mount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. This one to Bourne, and he's got it. And he's going to be taken down about the 33. That's what they have to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Todd keeps moving. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. A give. This is Montgomery. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Here's Jones on third down. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. So on fourth down, Jones jogs off, and on comes a longtime vet, Nick Folk, for the Pats field goal try. Folk's kick is good, and they will open things up a bit more. It's 24 to 7. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Right now, they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard, and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble. So you have a feeling taking care of football is certainly paramount right now. Yeah, it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive, is it? That means everyone who might touch the ball is getting the same message. Guys, ball security, paramount. Let's take care of it. And if we do, we've got a chance to put points on the board. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Now Stafford. Go right side, going to be caught by Higby. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Complete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25 yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Patriots take over. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Jones, open man is born. And they work this well up field across the 45. 23 yards on the play. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. The last run got six, now second and four. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. 63 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Now a play fake here on first down. And this is going to be intercepted. Jalen Ramsey, and the Rams are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. 
set to begin their next drive. The Rams offense at the line. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. From the 22, Stafford. Robinson's got it. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. throw and a throw there gonna be incomplete i'll tell you what these last couple of drives much better from a defensive perspective they gave up a touchdown on the opening drive and then after forcing a punt on their last possession it looks like they're gonna get the football back again and a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20 yard line they call it 38 yards on the punt no return now the patriots offense they work their way back out onto the field as the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. The offense on third down tonight, they've been very good. Five for seven thus far. This is third and nine. Bearing this one out for Evans. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. That goes as a gain of 36 on third down. Defender was right there in his shorts. Is that one of those situations as a DB where you just tip your cap and say, nice catch? Well, you're supposed to, but a true competitor, he's not tipping his cap at all. He's upset he still didn't make the play. If it's a 50-50 ball or a moment of truth, he's got to win more than his fair share of them as well. Probably especially angry because if it was incomplete, it would have been fourth down. Exactly. Jones throw there complete to Allen. He's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. At the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. They'll look to throw again. Over the middle complete. This is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 18. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of... And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Rams are going to get the foot. 20. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. After the interception, here's Stafford. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 17 yards on the play as they try to eat into this 17-point deficit. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Going right back to Akers. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 
First down Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. From the shotgun, here's the game to Akers. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. It's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Now Stafford. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Stafford to Higby there. Rams first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Out of the gun, Stafford. It's complete to Robinson. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. A good position to be in here, second and in inches. Throwing at Stafford. He's got a big be complete right side. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. the red zone now Stafford his throw incomplete I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far even backed up late they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep him out of the end zone as the first half winds down Stafford's throw it's complete into the hands of Bigby and they're gonna lose some on this play being knocked back to the 18 first half. Stafford looks to throw again. And this is going to be incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. And Gang knocks this one through. And that will close the gap down to 14. Still some climbing left to do to get back to even, but forcing a turnover and getting the field goal there, that's a small step toward erasing the early deficit. Absolutely. That interception field goal, that's the beginning of what they hope will be several steps towards erasing that deficit and building a lead of their own by the time this game is over. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Looking to throw. Jones going deep here for Allen. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. And yeah, the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. It's a 39-yard punt, three on the return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with only four seconds on the clock, time likely for just one snap of the football. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground, and incomplete. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where you 
can't skip halftime on Sundays, but you can right here. So it's over, and on to the third quarter we march. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He starts with a give to Akers. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop it for no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Complete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. And that is incomplete. So coming up empty here to start the third quarter. Already two scores down. Got to be careful. Yeah, I did notice, though, that the captain of the defense patted the quarterback on the helmet on his way out, pretty much letting him know, we know the pressure's on us. We're going to go out there and try and hold serve for you while you figure it out over here on the sidelines. A 40-yard punt, no return, and that will come the offense as they take over. Here comes the Patriots' offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. Jones throwing to start the drive. A quick throw they're going to be batted away at incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. And he's got Rome. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 76 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. Oh, well, not sure he saw the linebacker there. Is that batted down and incomplete? Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete we don't talk about it very often but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling and how about right there he ran right through that weak tackle attempt Charles, and that time a little bold to throw it into double coverage, but he beat the double coverage. Yeah, but I admire that he still will challenge defenders downfield, even though the ball's been in jeopardy a few times in this game. A nice ball there against multiple defenders and they advance it downfield. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. Just picking up yardage and bunches here. These last And now it's third and goal. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing 
think here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Third and goal now, mere inches from Pater. The give to the tight end, Kelsey. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Travis Kelsey, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Pats take a three-touchdown lead. And that's a drive that makes everyone happy on that bench because they accomplish exactly what they set out to do take care of the football, eat up a little clock, end up in the end zone. Now they've got a cushion for the rest of the game. So they didn't just help themselves offensively, they helped their defense out as well. Extra point up and good by Fulton. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it ends with a New England touchdown. Fulton now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop it for no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll go again here with Akers. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now, but they hope to get back into this game. They'll have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. Here's Riley Dixon now as he's on to punt for L.A. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And that gets him a little room as he'll take this up over the 10-yard line. 96 yards rushing for him now to this point. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. here as he'll get it to the 11, maybe the 12-yard line. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Jones now on third and two. Now thrown to Parker, complete on the slam. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. They give him 26. On the third down conversion. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Meanwhile, Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Nice job there of utilizing his big 
target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. Puts it right out there. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up here in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second and nine, Jones. Open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 23. Give to Montgomery out of the gun. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. On second down, Montgomery. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Throw Jones touchdown. Patriots. Pierre Strong, a 12 yard touchdown grab, and the Patriots go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Well, we know he has decent hands out of the backfield. That's the first time Charles they targeted him in the passing game, and it pays dividends. And I love the design too because they kept him in the backfield defense think run first before they swung him out of there and you're right with his hands they might want to throw it to him just a little bit more full connects on the extra point and that'll increase their lead to 28 a 10 play drive that time and pierre strong finishes it off with a touchdown catch Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. Stafford on first down. Pass over the middle, tipped, but he still brings it in. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. A give up the middle to Akers. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Man open is Robinson. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 43. Here's Stafford. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now it's Stafford. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Judon, his second sack of the night. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now. And if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. Mike eight. Mike eight. Throwing on 
second and long. Stafford steps away. And he'll just get rid of it. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. Fourth down, and we go from one man to another. Stafford heads off. Matt Gay gets set for the Rams' field goal. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. Gay's kick is good, and that drops the deficit from 28 to 25. Kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white flag? Away. I was just going to get that. out of here. Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. They're just looking to do more of the same. They were good in the first half. They've extended their lead so far here in the second half. I don't know, they're just looking good on all, hitting on all cylinders right now. And sometimes that means a head coach who really has a finger on the pulse of the team may not have anything to say at all. May tell the rest of the back coaches, a little bit. just back it off a little bit. This team has it under control. I remember hearing about Bob Knight years ago in basketball. Getting ready to give the final speech before the gold medal game in 84. And on the board, Michael Jordan wrote, had written, Coach, after all we've been through, there's no way we're losing. He didn't even give a pregame speech. Wow, interesting. Well, right now, no speech is needed. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw. Jones. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And they got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Looking to throw. Jones. Throw left side here. Complete to the tight end. Gesicki. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. There's a beautiful throw there. And he's been sensational the entire game. He's moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long Time. And every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I'd want him out. They tend to leave him in. I throw, but he makes the catch. And he's brought down after a very nice game. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out, that he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. But Charles in this win, they've really just had one speed, and that's been all out. They're still driving the ball downfield despite the circumstances and the big lead, and they just continue to find ways to get into the end zone with ease. They're certainly in that zone where almost everything they try is successful and often leads to points. Teams don't get those types of games very often, so when they do, many of them just want to take advantage of it to the last second. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. A 
And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. The offense on third down tonight, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Stafford finding Jefferson there. First day, L.A. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. They'll get this one to Cup complete. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. From the gun, here's Stafford. Over the gun, complete to the tight end, Higman. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw pulled in by Jefferson. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. This game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To throw is Stafford. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Again, it's Stafford. And he'll just get rid of it. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need and that's exactly what they got done now a first down throw Stafford this one brought in by Jefferson and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains to the air again Stafford open man right side is cut complete So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? They'll give this to Akers running right. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. And this is caught. Touchdown, L.A. Van Jefferson from three yards out. And the Rams get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. 
Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that will cut this lead down to 25. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. Patriots ready to get the football back. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate, but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out with this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Complete. Hunter Henry with a grab. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And it'll be a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. Zappi back to throw. Caught Kelsey, left side. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for first down. Now he dumps this off over the middle. This time. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave with a second and just a few inches left. Now, this is Kelsey, a tight end carry. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Zappi looking to throw it on first down. And a catch right side by Evans. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Well, Pardon, nothing but praise for me for this offense. They have been tremendous all night long. They knew what they had to do to unlock the defense. And let's face it, this has been a master class in offensive football that we've been here to witness. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. On second and 11 now. Zappi across the formation. He's got a man. That's Allen. And this is going to be another first down, but his attack is going to be made at the Rams' 20. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. First and 10, Zappi. He gets it into the arms of Parker, good play. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Now this one probably not the close game you would expect or hope to see in prime time, CD, but of course, that wasn't their intent in preparing for this one. They said they felt like their offense was ready to put up some points. And my goodness, it has been a dominant display in front of a national audience. Yeah, they thought it. And it certainly came to fruition, didn't it? They've been dominant in 
in so many ways in this one. If you weren't paying attention to this group before, you certainly are now after seeing this type of victory from them. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Ty Montgomery taking it in from seven yards away. And the Patriots just continue to roll. It finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete down, stay on the field, run it and catch it, and he gets it done. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And it's a pretty good return here, so he'll get this up to the 29. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive, so we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? A quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Back to throw, Stafford. After the ball hit the ground, I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus. You know? Yeah. Or the mental focus. Yeah, level. that's true. Got to stay with it. That's true. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. New England trying to get to place on offense. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They scored on their last two drives. Certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. Second and two. Oh, design run for their wideout. I don't think anyone in the building fooled right there as that one is going to blow up in their faces. It goes as a loss of six. And now third down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because those faces can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. So the Patriots with the football as we get your reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Here's Zappi. Open man is born. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Well, fans expect these primetime slots to deliver some of the best games each week. And, well, one team has certainly followed through with that tonight. Just an absolute clinic, Charles, on offense here. And they don't seem to be done trying to drive that football. Yeah, and continue your theme about one team enjoying it. One fan base is enjoying it as well. The other fan base, they might disagree with what they've seen. But the one that's winning, they're certainly getting their money's worth. That one looks like he'll throw here. Able to shake him off. He finds his target, Allen. it inside the 40. 23 yards to pick up there. That was a nice hit run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. No, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Going up the gut, Montgomery, 
And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 12-yard line. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That illegal with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Zappi to throw on first down. It's Kelsey on the ground. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And now the Rams have got it. Going the other way. And the return goes up to his own 17-yard line. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there are more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. On first down at Stafford. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that caught inside the 35. And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late. But he does get in for six. No wonder you're grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed I did, my good man. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that will cut this lead down to 25. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. For my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew, I'm Brandon Gaughton. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.